It's superhero night, and I'm Gold Man. Everything I touch turns to gold. I'm Super Brie, and I have the strength of a thousand women. Oh. Wow, that's great. I'm Fitzy, and I have X ray vision. Oh, oh Mike, I didn't know you were a chick. Oh, sorry, was that? Oh, sorry, mate. I'm sorry. This is Friday Night Live. Sorry, sorry, mate. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> And welcome to Friday Night Live, the show that tackles environmental issues head on the only way we know how by wearing our undies on the outside. Please welcome a man who's faster than his Auntie Trish, more powerful than Port Power, and can leapfrog an elephant with only a short run up and a mini tramp, Ryan Fitzgerald! Thanks a lot, guys! Let me tell you, too, big shout out to my Auntie Trish. She is very fast as well, so that <laughs> makes me even faster. How's she fast? She was on. She was my, my auntie. Was the roller skating champion of South Australia back in the day. So she was very quick does on her feet. Does she still claim it and like roll around on her yep. skates? I didn't, do, awesome. I didn't do your intro. Oh, sorry. Hi. And, and the woman that makes Terry look like Wonder Woman, Brie Ama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Can we go back? Can we go? And, and the woman that makes Wonder Woman look like Terry, Terry. Brie Ama. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor so, oh, Terry. Bad. I'm sorry. Leave it's not it alone. A, it's not a good way to start the show. But speaking of a bad way to start the yeah, show... Yeah, thanks, Mike. How about we bring up Nobby paying you out about not having any hair? Oh, Sunday oh, night! That's a good way to start the show, isn't it? No, well done on Sunday. You did an awesome job. Stop but how it. funny was that? But no, no, but I was saying, starting the show badly, I just watched The Daily Show. That was the most full-on Daily Show oh, I've ever seen my in the history God. of Big Brother. We're going to talk about that tonight. The games tonight, on a lighter note, are absolutely fantastic. We're going to be strapping housemates to the roof. We're going to be flying around, Ooh. dressing up in all sorts of wacky costumes. We are absolutely pumped. Dixie's on the show tonight. Yeah. Well, yesterday was World Environment Day, so tonight we decided to combine the two teams, the serious of environmental issues and the coolness of superheroes, because, after all, we want to save the world with Dixie on the show and all of these crazy games that we're having. We're ready to look at the arena. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, look, it's Clark Kent. Oh. Ninja. <laughs> 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 He's got a 20-year-old towel as a cape. <laughs> Wearing their undies on the outside. Look at the big backdrop there. How good are those superheroes? Using their superhero Flash. ninja See, I, Phantom. I, I reckon the ninjas are superheroes Hulk. in themselves. They don't need to dress up as we superheroes. We love Absolutely. the ninjas. Well, the housemates are suited up and ready. Should we take a look at them? Because apparently they're ready to take the bins out, so to speak. Let's get down to the arena. This is Big Brother. Housemates, it's time to enter the arena. Cherry, your superhero outfit has not been approved by Big Brother. 
Please remove the offending item you've stuffed into your super undies. Housemates, yesterday was World Environment Day. Tonight, you are all global crusaders with one mission to save the world. Don't eat things. Housemates, as you know, the rules of Big Brother recently changed. So has the reward for winning the Friday night games. Double points are dead. The strategy room is dead. The eviction twist, however, is very much alive. Housemates, there are only six weeks remaining. Victory in these games is the only way to guarantee your survival. Tonight's winner will win the eviction twist, will be the head of the Big Brother household, and will win a mystery prize for later this evening. Renee, hand the head of household armband over to the ninja. Oh, I'm attached. Sorry, dude. Ta. Alice, hand Ollie to the ninja. Rihanna, move to the green zone now. Cherry, move to the yellow zone. Terence, go to the red zone. As you are all making your Friday night debut, Big Brother thought it would be nice to make you captains. However, the first game requires four teams. Nobby, you have already saved the world from unnecessary water wastage today by not showering. You are the fourth captain. Go to the blue zone. Each captain will now choose two players to join their team. Housemates, when selected, stand behind your captain. Rihanna, choose your first player now. Alice. <laughs> Cherry, your first player. Renee. Terence. <laughs> Travis! <laughs> <laughs> Nobby. Benny. <laughs> Rihanna, your second player. Wheel. Cherry. <laughs> Terence. Cherry. <laughs> Housemates, you all know what is at stake. Twelve of you will start. Only one will win. All housemates to the holding area. Someone had to do it, didn't they? Someone had to get Ollie's toy and put it in their underpants. Someone had to sick Ollie's toy downstairs. Hey, does anybody Cherry. else... Just on Ollie, quickly. Does anybody else find it really ironic that they put a guide dog in the house and then one of the housemates nearly went blind? Uh, yeah, that's true. But that's quite sick <laughs> of you to, to notice that, Bree. But yeah, he, uh, Travis has got uh, glasses on tonight to protect his eye. His eye's like 98% better. Can but I, uh, just in case. Can I just say as well, Terence and Terry look like a couple of Teletubbies. They could be Terry. <laughs> They look like Terry Tubbies, and we've just worked out that between that team of Terence, Travis and Terry, they're 123 years old. Aww. So go that team! The underdogs! 
isn't it great that the strategy room is gone and the reaction we got from the housemates, they're like, strategy room, yay, it's gone. We I don't know. have to put up with that anymore. And Big Brother's announced this mystery prize Woo! and the audience goes, ooh. Yes, they're going very well trained tonight. That's really nice. Yeah. Uh, let's practice that again. Ooh. I just, I, just, I just want to try something here. And then the audience goes, yeah. No, no, it didn't work. Didn't yeah, so what's the go with that? What's, what's the mystery prize? What's going to happen? I don't know. Will it be a car, a holiday? I have a feeling that there might be something to do with the Big Brother airline. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, see, I didn't even need to prompt them that time. That was great. So what will happen? Uh, Fitzy, since it's superhero night, superhero night, um, how, does, how does Batman know when it's time for his dinner? Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to? All right. No, tell tell me, Mike. I, I tell me. I don't want to do it. On, How does Batman know when it's time for dinner? Because his mum shouts, dinner, 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 Batman! She's got to laugh! She's got to laugh! This is Binocular Soccer. Shovel fresh manure. Go, Bridget. Go, Bridget. Tonight's final is Fashions on the Field. You look fabulous. Renee, you are the winner of Friday Night Games. <laughs> that was loud. That is loud. It's Superhero Save the World Night, and it's greener than the Green Lantern in the Incredible Hulk with a suitcase full of kryptonite on holiday in Greenland, but it's not as green as this. Oh, oh now, Mike, that is... Mike, that is green. Stop it with the disgustingness on your show. Back? No, guys, we have to get serious. This, this issue is too important just to slide over. Tonight's daily show. That has got to be one of the most... Horrible things, I must say, that I've ever seen in the, go in, on in the house. In, all, all the years of working on Big Brother, I've, I've never seen such a, a manipulative, strategic that was, am, uh, amount yeah. of drama in it the was house. Absolutely horrible to watch. Nobby is one of the biggest manipulators I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Does he forget that there's cameras and we're yeah. watching? But he you know, outright lied. Funny thing is, last week he was the most popular person in the house. This week he's turned it around. If you missed the Daily Show, uh, Nobby and a couple of the other boys have been saying to Travis that yeah. Alice has been. Been backstabbing you and she hates you and, and it's for not the record, true at all just for a all joke. Alice said was in the outside world Travis is the least person that I'd probably get along and, with yeah, look, that's it, that's when it all comes she to said. Alice, Alice has put her heart on her sleeve and I think she's been one of the most honest and most positive per, uh, people in the house absolutely and they are just they think that she's out to win it the poor bugger and they they're, outright everything. Lies. they're trying to gang up on her it's, and it's I, really really can sad can I ask you something in all seriousness Fitzy if you, you guys were obviously both in the big brother house how would you have handled it if, say, Paul or someone went behind your back as a joke and said, oh, blah, 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 hates you. And, it wasn't and, a joke, though, Mike. It I, wasn't a joke. Can think I it wasn't just a say, joke? No I think way. it was a joke gone wrong. No, it wasn't. Again. It was this, not a joke. And this is what's so unique about Big Brother is that Alice actually said, they didn't show it on the uh, Daily Show tonight, but she said this is the saddest she's ever felt for a long time. Now, that's why it's so unique, Big Brother. A lot of people say... 
you never get that situation in real life. If someone has upset you like that, you've got family, you've got friends that you can always turn to, but in Big Brother, you don't. And I tell you what, Alice, it is sad for her, but she's going to learn from this. She's going to come out of here stronger. And I, that's why Big Brother well. is so unique. But you know what? Today I was thinking this morning before I saw this, I was thinking, who do I think is going to be in the top two of Big Brother at the end of the you know, 12 weeks? And Nobby was actually there. But I would put money on after tonight's Daily Show. If he went up for eviction, he'd go. He's in trouble. But, but will because he win everyone back over with his jokes and nah, his fun? I, 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 no yeah. redemption. That was, I tell well, you, where I come from, he's called a rat, what oh. he did tonight. Absolutely. Okay. Is. Well, you know, a lot of the housemates as well, I, I believe, seem to think that Alice is going to go this week, but what they don't know is that Dixie used her hand grenade yeah. to save her. So, come this Sunday, it's going to be an amazing daily show it's when the, the housemates are expecting Alice to go, or some of them, and, and it, she's saved by Dixie. Isn't it funny how quickly it turns around in this show? Like, two weeks ago, you would have put money on that Bridget and Terry would have been the ones to go in the evictions. Now, I would say, if I had to make a guess, it would be very close between Bianca and Renee. But that, that happens. How quickly it turns Around. All the time. It always changes. Righto, let's not mess around with anything else but who is going to win tonight. Who's going to win Friday Night Live? Oh. Who's our champ? I can tell you one thing's for sure. Alice doesn't want to win it. She's sick of being head of house. She's sick of being in charge of the dog. She's sick of telling people what to do. Who's going to win? Who do you guys reckon? Give us a name. Uh, I don't... Look, I, look, I can't tell you because I, there's one man that oh, I always whatever. go to. Oh, <laughs> I, actually, I actually think Cherry will probably win, yeah. even though, you know, he's a little bit arrogant at the moment, don't think he deserves it. But anyway, <laughs> one person we can definitely rule out from winning tonight is whoever fits his mate Bryce Fick, Fitzberg picked. Bryce with his appalling, Fitzberg. appalling track record. You are a silly little girl, aren't you? <laughs> They've got no chance. Look, I, I tell you, Bree, you will never understand how a good detective works like Bryce Fitzberg and uh, always he always makes people think that you are off the scent and then all of a sudden bang he nails it bang. every week now kids if you're oh. sitting at home and you don't know what, if you don't want to know who's going to win tonight I suggest that you look away right now Bryce Fitzberg here, a.k.a. Miami Brass. As its superhero Save the World Night, I've been using my X-ray vision to find myself a winner of Friday Night Live. And that's not all I've been using it for. Bridget, all right. This time, I think my superpowers of deduction will be right on. Yes, tonight, it is Rory. The winner of FNL needs strength. <laughs> They need confidence. I'm confident with myself. I'm not arrogant. They need to come to the rescue of a damsel in distress. Rory, there's a woman that needs saving outside. And they need to be really comfy in their Superman undies, all right. But most of all this week, they need the ability to save the planet. And what better way to save the planet than to save our most precious resource, water. Don't you hate Rory? You should smell his hair. I don't think he even gets Dixie to wash his clothes very much. <laughs> very much. <laughs> yes, the lack of showers proves his selfless attitude, and this is why tonight Rory will win the ultimate FNL power. But will he use it for good or evil? Only time will tell. But it's going on. Right. Who lover, Rory, lover who likes to mm, or next mm, Romeo no. Rory. Well, the housemates have all been training quite a bit this week, so let's get down to the arena to see which housemates have really been working hard. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> this is Big Brother. The first round is the wheelie bin obstacle course. To win, you will have to go wheelie fast. <laughs> this round will be played in two heats. Rihanna. Alice and Rory. You will compete against Cherry, Renee and Bridget in the first heat. The team that finishes the course first will go through to the next round. Ninjas, it's time to take out your trash. Oh, when the camera comes on, I'm not looking at that. It's just letters and 
Oh, there's a maggot. <laughs> Superheroes on the buzzer, wheel your wheelie bin over the ramp, across the grate, up and over the seesaw, around the corner, and around one complete lap of the world before racing to the dump and tipping the contents of your bin into the trash. All obstacles must be properly completed or you will be penalised. Superheroes, prepare to race. And we're on with racing the first ever wheel of in race in the Big Brother house. And Rory and Cherry versus each other, the two tough guys in the house. Already had a spill! Hey, how funny is it? Rory was actually complaining all week about the fact that we keep making him wear lycra and pink, so we put him in a full body like <laughs> Rory using his uh, strength there to push the other team over. They have got a good look. Oh, Cherry! Cherry is right to win it tonight. Get it? Uh, nice, Cherry, right. <laughs> Take out the trash. Thanks oh, there's my lunch. Thanks for that. Oh, oh Bridget. <laughs> oh, Bridget. <laughs> Lucky she got airbags. Bridget. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Rihanna, Alice, and Rory, you are through to the next round. Cherry, Renee, and Bridget, you are not. All housemates to the holding area. Yeah, you know, that was pretty close in the end, but I, 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 considering how far Cherry was out of front there. I, I, I tell you, Rory, he is one of the most competitive in the house. He really, Absolutely. really wants to win. You see him throwing his body around. Cherry looked pretty upset him. He looks pretty competitive. He hasn't won one yet. No. Nah. And oh, he the first round in your first bad. ever Friday Night Live. You'd be a bit shattered. <laughs> or, or like, remember the, the soccer uh, for Race Week last week? He's running out there and smashing in housemates. I think, uh, you know, you might have it for once, Bryce. Well, it's coming great. up next is Terence, Travis and Terry. And I hope Terence throws his body around and starts uh, pushing a few housemates over because he's up against Nobby's team. Well, it's actually Superhero Save the World Night. And, Fitzy, I believe that... Uh, I believe that uh, you have a, a tip for all budding young superheroes. I sure do. Kids, if you're planning on saving the world, make sure you get a good superhero annuation package because you're not going to be saving <laughs> lives for the rest of your life. You've got to save a bit of money. This, this is Friday, Friday Night Live! Oh! Live this week is a superhero theme, and Bridget wants to be. <laughs> I'm gonna be Banana Man. A show that's so environmentally friendly that we recycle all of our jokes. <laughs> that, that, that is the best joke that you've ever set up. That was brilliant. That's a good reaction, Mike. You're learning. You've got a real future in this game. <laughs> I don't have to read such bad jokes. It's not fair, you know. Every week I come in here at midday and they give you these horrible jokes and they say you have to read them, it's your job. And sometimes, sometimes they get the little baby laugh. And that makes me feel so good inside. Mike, you write most of your jokes. You write them all. <laughs> you know what? We also recycle our footage here on Friday Night Live. Aww. In 2004, two superheroes graced our screens for the first time and the earth has never been the same again. 
Just wanted to introduce a very good mate of ours. We didn't bring her in before. Um, good mate of Rave Mans. Rave Mans misses actually. Keep that low key though, because they've just started out. Rave Girl, thanks for coming on the Rave Girl. A lot, BB. Yeah, had a great night. And uh, you want to say if you need anything from us, just give us a yell. We're in the yellow pages. <laughs> Thank you, Root Man. <laughs> He's got a little bit of a sense of humour over the years. I remember the first couple oh, of years he would never say anything like that. No. And him, him saying that was the highlight of our three months, wasn't it? Oh, that, the, the weirdest thing was when I came out of the house and there was kids in the crowd dressed as rude men. <laughs> <laughs> but it's unbelievable. Yeah, I've lost that outfit. I don't know where it is. Somebody oh, stole it. lost it. It's in a cabinet Pick somewhere in someone someone's house and it's worth millions. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a big week in the Big Brother house. Dixie getting evicted. Three intruders going in. If you've missed all the action, here's the man with the best legs in the business to sort you out. Good evening, I'm Jim Shorts and here's the short news. Ben squirted Travis in the eye. My eye is killing me. He felt so bad, he had to cry. Eviction night, one out and three in. This put the house in a spin. Rihanna arrived for the boys. <laughs> Jerry arrived for the girls, and Terrence arrived ready to rock Terry's world. She's 52, I'm only 51. Or oh, Bridget's. <laughs> Renee and Bianca had a fight, ended in tears, they both got strikes. Nominations time, Alice, Bianca and Bridget were up. Alice cried because of the pop. Woof. Dixie's hand grenade saved Alice, but Terry and Renee jumped in. Ignore the obvious task begins. Nothing to see here, or here, or even here. Bridget wanted to knit. He's hitting my arms. Terry wanted to help. Okay, thanks, Terry. No, I want to finish it. Rihanna wanted to find true love. But I've never been in love. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. I can't wait. Rory wanted to help. Cool. Terrence told a boring story. Yeah. And you'd be trying to sleep and you'd hear, dun, 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 you know. <laughs> Ollie wanted to yelp. Woof. Cherry apparently hasn't made an impression. He's hot, he's hot, he's hot. Yeah, he's hot, but it's day three. And you guessed it, after six weeks in the Big Brother house, Nobby is still in the combi. Nobby. Yeah. Pleasant dreams. That's the news, I'm Jim Shorts. Who are you? and Spider-Man for coming out here tonight, taking time Aww. out of your hectic crime-fighting schedule. <laughs> so, uh, Jim Shorts missed something there, Bree. Well, he just glazed over it. Yeah, well, he should we have talked really about it a bit more. Maybe absolutely. it's coming up on a special DVDs releasing <laughs> or something. Hey, we need to talk about Bianca and Renee. And that massive fight. fight in the house. Over boobs. It's I would crazy. have fought over them too. It's funny, like, I always thought... Rene like, I quite like Renee, but I always thought that she had that, you know, aggression kind of hidden down in there. I heard her say one day a couple of weeks ago, oh, about Bridget, if I ran into a chick like her in the outside world, I'd spit on her. And I thought, oh... That's really not Why nice. And then all of a sudden, it's like uproar, and the bogan has come out in her. Why and does, Bianca's so feisty. Why, why does Bianca care? I mean, why does she just not? Why does she do what but she wants to, to do with honest, her boobs? You know? I like I like Bianca, but I think she's a massive contradiction because she talks about how much she dislikes having her boobs, but hangs them out. I reckon oh, she constantly. she loves talking about them. I tell you, I she the, loves it. The only reason <laughs> why Bianca and Renee had a massive fight is because they're not getting the love and affection from Rory anymore because there's a new girl in the house. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, de I definitely see it with Renee. She seems a little bit jealous, actually. Because that kiss in the spa tonight between Ooh, Rihanna and uh, Wasn't, and that, the look on her wasn't face. that the most foul-looking kiss you've ever oh, seen? Oh, All three oh, of us oh, went, oh, 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 I tell you what, though, going three days in a house without actually talking to someone is tough work. And how awkward for the rest of the house, oh, So much is really? going on. But down in the arena, they're ready to rock, so let's get down to the next game. Game on. This is Big Brother. Terence, Travis, and Terry. You will compete against Nobby, Ben, and Bianca in the second heat of the wheelie bin race. 
The team who completes the obstacle course in the fastest time will go through to the next round. Ninjas, Big Brother has a little more trash for you to take out. Superheroes, prepare to race. Terence, Terence has got a carrot in his mouth. What, what if they have a crash and that carrot goes into Terence's mouth and he chokes on it? Look at Terence, that. take the carrot out of your mouth. Take it out of your mouth, Terence. Terence, you could hurt yourself. Take it out of your mouth. You know, this is hard to say, but Terry and that are going slower than my council when they pick up my bins. Take it out of your take mouth, you idiot. Your mouth. That is a good start. Oh no, he's going to stab himself in the mouth with the carrot. It's like a donkey that's had enough to eat. It's Carrot Man. He looks like, he looks like a witch's man. Nobby, Ben and Bianca. You must have really been trying hard. You were through to the next round. Terence, Travis and Terry, you were really rubbish. You were out of tonight's games. Winning housemates, you will remain in your teams for the next round. All housemates to the holding area. Mad. I mean, seriously, when Terence entered the house, yeah. I even said to him on the stage here with Jackie O, I said, listen, mate, you say that you're going to go in there and stir things up and tell the youngsters to watch their P's and Q's. He's just gone in there in a midlife oh, crisis no, no. trying to be a cool, <laughs> hip youngster. He's... And you know what? It's so not working. Do you know that Rory and Nobby have a code for how, when they're being stuck by one of um, Terence's really stuck annoying stories. stories? This means get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the worst stories that just drag on. So who are the teams, Bree? All right. We have left... Um, um, Rihanna, Alice and Rory, and Nobby, Ben and Bianca. Oh, OK, so who's out? Uh, Cherry, Renee, Bridget, Terence, Travis and Terry. Gone out of the oh, game. that was a mouthful. Wasn't Cherry it? and Terence will be spewing. Intruders, first week on Friday night. Oh, yeah, they are out. out. They're 123 years of experience <laughs> didn't come in handy, that's for sure. Still to come on tonight's show, our latest to Big D, Dixie, who thinks she got out of the house at just the right time and actually... To be honest, I have to agree with her. Mm. We're at the halfway mark of Big Brother and the housemates are starting to crack. Stand up, I'm talking to you. What? You know you got a real bad attitude. You're just so irritating. I want to say what I have to say. Shut up! I am going completely crazy. This isn't worth that. Look at me. Every day is the same. Take a chill pill. It's driving me out the wall. Just enjoy your time here. I'm trying to find the bloody dog leaf. Stop! What would you do that for? Are you being serious? You guys suck. Just say it to my face. We don't hate you. Thanks for calling me a psycho. You're the only one that's doing it. This is what usually happens to me. Everybody walks away and leaves me alone. Stop! We're not even halfway, eh? What does Friday Night Games mean to you? If I couldn't compete on Friday Night Games, I'd probably try and get out of here. <laughs> My kids are just, they reckon I'm just going to be an absolute <laughs> joke. I don't know, just have fun. I can't wait to, to get all dressed up and, yeah. Who do you think is the biggest threat? 
definitely Alice. I reckon I'd say you're going to be Renee or Alice. Alice just goes and goes and goes and goes. But Terry's more my, my size, like my height, and I think we have about the same fitness ability. What do you think are your strengths? Lung capacity, without a doubt. What does winning the Friday night games mean to you? Um, I'm hoping that whoever does win um, gets the hair straight now. Is there any other reason you want to win Friday night games? To be the one to choose the hair straightener. Really? There's no other reason? No, I don't really think so. No. <laughs> what a good looking audience. Welcome back to Superheroes Save the World Night on Friday Night Live. I'm Mike Goldman, joined by a man whose personal gas emissions are contributing to global warming and the smell here. <laughs> Brian Fitzgerald. That's a little bit personal, Mike, but yeah. Okay, and you want to give us a clap, kids? Is that all right? Oh, uh, yeah, it's for Fitzy, yeah. And, of course, a woman, a woman who puts the mental in environmental, the lovely Brie Amer. Boy, <laughs> she is a bit crazy. So what, what the hell is that all about? So fussy about a hair straightener and worried about your hair, oh, Corey wanted it, and all the boys Gosh. want a hair straightener. Fitzy, what did you do when you are in the house to do oh, your I had hair? a couple of hair straighteners in there. Oh, actually, all right, I'm losing my hair. question. <laughs> Uh, well, I copped it tonight. You could too, Bree. <laughs> you used to Bree, what did you, all three of them. What did you do when um, you were in the house to do your hair? Do you know what? One of the girls in our house actually used to iron her hair, but I actually got in trouble of Big Brother because I used to turn the fan on in the oven and sit outside the oven and scrunch my hair to get a bit of and heat can, into it. Can I just say that was the closest she got to the kitchen too inside the house? It so wasn't. That was the hottest she's ever been. <laughs> I, do you know what? I remember it. Bri used to, for hours, just crimping her Not hair. for hours, just... for like 20 minutes. I said, Bri, we're hours. making the bread. Get out of the oven. Get your head out of the oven. She was eating it. Your well... face is going to melt. <laughs> Honestly, this has been the funniest task this week, I reckon, that we've ever had on oh, our brother. Absolutely. The ignore the obvious task. Great. All this crazy stuff happening in the house, and the housemates have to go, oh, it's not what? happening. But they've just failed dismally. What's in my been book. your favourite? Mine is, is the band and the clown car. No, no, meter mates. What about when the meter mates went in there and poor oh, Ben didn't know you where to, to look? say that, you Perfect. And Santa, Santa, you're going to sit in the, in the diary room, sit on Santa's knees. Oh, and, wait, and wait until you, you see Sunday's Daily Show. There is another one going in tomorrow that say is hilarious, if not the best. Speaking of the Daily Show, apparently there's some stuff that, that's too crap to show. Here it is. Oh. Too crap for the Daily Show, too crap for the Daily Show. It's 7.38 in the Big Brother house. Thank you. Do crap on the Daily Show. That's my favourite segment on this show. <laughs> I actually <laughs> found that really interesting. They <laughs> maybe yeah. should have put that in. OK, the housemates are about to fly through the air in massive costumes. Dixie on stage very shortly, but right now let's get to the arena where it's going up, up and away. This is Big Brother. The next round is flying, recycling. Rihanna, you will fly through the air. Superhero style, on a mission to save the planet, one piece of rubbish at a time. Alice and Rory, you are environmental watchdogs. You will sort and throw the rubbish to your superhero to shoot into the correct recycling bins. The blue bin is for all plastics, paper and cans. The green bin is for fruit and vegetables. The team with the most items in the correct recycling bins after two minutes will go through to the next round. Any item in the wrong bin will not count. Ninja, send Rihanna up, up and away. Oh what <laughs> an awesome game! Flying <laughs> Rihanna! <laughs> Flying awesome around the game. world to Daddy. save the planet! <laughs> And the buzzer has started on two minutes. OK, so you've got to put the right rubbish in the right bin. OK, so that's recyclable in that bin. See, kids, and if you grow up and you learn to recycle, one day you might fly. <laughs> OK, so tin can. It's quite, it's quite, easy, to it's quite easy to catch it, but it's hard to actually throw it into the bin. That's the hardest part. Cabbage in the green bin. Oh, missed. Nice catch. And a carrot gets it in. Three points. <laughs> Just missed with the gherkin. 
This is hilarious. Oh, I want to have a turn at that. <laughs> Me too. Oh, wouldn't her little daughter would be at home going, Mummy's flying! Yeah. She's a she lead call, you'll be all team. Oh, she won't get a paper run. Oh, and, oh, yes! Nice work. Will she get this one? Oh, just off the rim. And the ninja gives her the can. Can, oh, missed again. Remaining. Only a minute left. Oh, she just keeps missing. <laughs> Superman would be embarrassed. Oh, she's got to take her time a bit more. They're flying higher, higher than Amy Winehouse. <laughs> <laughs> So I think she's only got oh, two or three. Oh, so close. She's jumbled it. Oh, that's good. Nice. And the recycle seconds remaining. 25 seconds. Oh, I just missed it. Uh, and that's a banana. Come on, so Rihanna, get it in. Thing. Nice. How dizzy do you reckon she'll be? Strict quarantine laws in the big brother house. Ten seconds remaining. Eight, seven, I reckon she's done great. Five, this is going to be a tough four, score to be. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, she's got it! Yeah, last one on the buzzer. Nice work. Being an intruder, new in the house, she wants to prove herself. I think she's done a great job. The ninjas have just got to de strap her. There's your girlfriend, Rory. Oh, what do you Rory's reckon? Rory's looking over to make sure she's all right. <laughs> oh, she looks all right and like her, doesn't she? Nothing happened to that neck that he wants to patch later. Ninjas, how many correct items are in the blue bin? <laughs> Don't encourage him. It's not, it's not great. Don't turn to the police. You don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I put like the wrong ones in? No, no. Four items. Ninjas, how many correct items are in the green bin? Oh, they got eight. Four items. Rihanna, Alice, and Rory. You scored eight correct items. Nobby, Ben, and Bianca. This is the score to beat. All housemates to the holding area. Awesome game, that's the score to beat. Hey, what about pesky Big Brother going and flipping the voting system? I Can know, you believe awesome. that? Now the housemates actually nominate and you evict. Look at the effect it's already having on the housemates. Don't go away. Why do you think she's going to win every Friday Night Live? She's won one. No, just because she's so competitive and she's got the drive. No one else has got the drive. You want to win? Yeah. So we're going to see a different side of Bianca tonight in Friday Night Games. What? Competitive Bianca. It's going to come down to the crunch. You want to win it, yes. Win Friday Night Games to have your immunity. I think winning Friday Night Games, that's quite a good thing because it gives you the chance to save money for mates. And I was coming last and I overtook Dixie 100 miles an hour. And she realised I overtook her and she said, that old bag's not going to beat me. I just want to get in there and have a go and I'm going to give it my best and try and win one. The winner of Friday Night Live will be able to, on Sunday night, change the voting. You are now aware of the great power that victory in the Friday Night Games brings. more educated on the voting. Stick around after the break. The pride of Dubbo Dixie joins us live on stage. Let's hear it for the FNL superheroes. If you want to see the housemates monkey around, if you want to know how many tattoos they're hiding, 
or if you really just like puppies. Mate, what do you do for a living, Terry? Are you on your pension? Oh. Big Mouth has you covered. Only for adults. Monday. Got a bit of leg show and an eye here, you too. You I'm look fantastic. This beautiful dress, look at your hair. Doesn't her hair look fantastic? <laughs> wow. Grab yourself a chair here. Alrighty. Hey, Dixie, how's your week been? Good. I Good. like your shirt. I'll do it. Well, we love Thanks. Dubbo. We Tell love us, Dubbo. Why great. should we love Dubbo, Dixie? Because there's a bunch of fabulous people that live there. There are. There are. Yeah, that's cool. You want to say hi to anyone? Um, can I say hello to my cousin Colby, Tony and Skye? Um, my sister Roxanne, my sister Paige, all my cousins, and go the Raiders. Pretty much. Go right. the Raiders. So you take hey. away that last thing. Hey, oh, did, right. you, did you watch tonight's Daily Show? Yeah. What'd you think? Tell Ooh. us what you thought. Fireworks in the house. I know. Oh, I'm really, really disappointed in Nobby and um, Rory and Ben's behaviour. Can you believe you, they didn't own up to it? Did you know that was going on, Dixie? No. Did you have any um, idea in the house? I at must all? say, I'm a little bit. Um, a shame that I sometimes with Nobby stirred a little bit of trouble, but I never actually realised how the impact that it had on Travis. So yep. um, I'm sorry about that, Trav. And can um, we talk about yeah. Alice? Because you saved Alice this Sunday night, and she's just seen the boys just seem to have it out for her. They think that she's playing the game. And Do you think really it's because they think she's a threat? Um, I think so. She's she's got a lot of determination to win Friday Night Live because I think she feels that she's got an advantage when it comes to eviction nights. Yep. Um, and her being up on Sunday, last, oh, nominated last Sunday, will certainly prove that to her. But now that I've saved her, she's, I'm sure she'll be fine. And, and what do you think? Oh, by the way, I've got a nice, uh, got a nice T-shirt for you. It says, I love Dubbo. As if you haven't got one already. Uh, what do you think of the whole... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I've got oh, one well, now. Well, there you go on now. What do you think of the whole uh, Rory hooking up with Rihanna when already he's, he's been leading on you know, Renee and Bianca? And Bianca, yeah. I don't what? know what's going on there. He's a bit of a player. He just, I think he's, he's a I woman think, actually, I just think he's going to you know, try every single female in the house. He might even go Terry, just oh. until he gets some action. I don't think so. That, that uh, territory is reserved for Terence. What do you think of our new intruders? Or oh, her husband uh, on the outside, oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, That's true. Um, I actually haven't really watched that much of them, but um, they seem to be fitting into the house quite well, and we definitely needed some new blood would in it, Would it be hard going into a, into a house like that? You were um, in there, would it be hard being a new person coming into the house? Yeah, it would be. We're such a tight-knit family, and it, it was like I saw that even when um, Barney, Michael and Nate came into the house like two weeks into it, so it was a bit hard for them It's to tough. We'll stick around. Dixie's going to hang out here and help us commentate on the games. We've got a few games to play with her shortly, but right now, let's get back to the arena. This is Big Brother. Nobby, Ben and Bianca. You will compete next in flying recycling. Rihanna, Alice and Rory collected eight items of rubbish. This is your amount to beat. Ninjas, send Super Nobby into a spin. Prepare to compete. They're not really, really egging Nobby on at all, and it's no surprise after the drama he's oh, caused over the last couple yeah. of days. He's, there's no fans egging him on. Oh, he's on fire. He's got quite a few in already, Nobby. 
Yeah, the audience is dead silent. Hey, normally they're massive Nobby fans. Does anyone want Nobby to win it all tonight? No. Oh, what a nose. No Nobby fans. So he's on fire, though. I don't want Nobby to win. That's you how don't? Bust, no. That's how fast it changes on this show. One minute you love someone, the next minute you can't stand them. Absolutely. I think you were right up there in tip to win it in the beginning, actually, Dixie. At one I'm point. Right oh. No, the whole lot. Oh, no. No it changes pretty quickly, but then again, you kind of voted yourself out, didn't you? Oh, he just wanted to go, yeah. Flying through the sky. Nasty nobby. seconds remaining. He's like me on the half and the crow is dropping everything. <laughs> I'd like to see them walk in a straight line after this. Yeah, to make you a bit sick, wouldn't it? Spinning round and round. Seconds remaining. Eight, this is going to be seven, close. Six, five. When he's trying to four, walk after this, it'd be like three, three on a Saturday night. Two, one. <laughs> he is now. <laughs> He's gone limp. <laughs> Did he black out then, or is another one of his knobby jokes? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got it at the left Knobby joke. His joke's a Attention hilarious. seeker. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, he's just joking. It's nearly as funny as his other jokes. Oh, Bri, you really got it in for him, haven't you? <laughs> Oh, look, Ben looks lovely tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so did Rory get through to the second, second round, yeah? How many correct items are in the blue bin? <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> Eight <laughs> items. Ninjas, how many correct items are in the green bin? Four items. Nobby, Ben and Bianca. You collected 12 correct items. Congratulations. You are through to the next round. Rihanna, Alice and Rory. The night is not over for you yet. Oh, one's going to get... Awesome. I love when we're flying around. What did you think of Friday night games? Because you, you had a bit of a rough trot in there, and one of the uh, the best times I saw you in that games arena was when you stuck your head inside that uh, cage of bugs. What did it feel like? That was terrible. I don't really like bugs, actually. I hate them. What you kind know, of bugs were they? I don't know. I didn't see them. I just had my eyes closed and was just doing all stupid things. You know, we made Mike myself. do that with snakes. Really? Yeah, that, Real yeah you wouldn't know that. We, could, we were actually going to do it. They said, Mike, go down there and, and uh, test this out with you because none of the ninjas were game, obviously, yeah. or they just wanted to mess with me. And it stuck my head in this cage and it had all these snakes, and one of them actually bit me on the face. So, big brother, because it is a last minute nice piece of compassion, yeah. he, he decided to not let you do it because the snake bit me on the face. So there were going to be real snakes in there? Yeah, there Real was. snakes? Oh, that's terrible. Well, how would you have been if real snakes were in there? I wouldn't have done it. Hey, I'd, I must say, Dixie, one of the things that I found hilarious watching, especially in the hypnotist special, was how much you love your food. <laughs> I've never seen anyone in my life, like, you were eating in your sleep. <laughs> Did you find that the hardest thing about the house? Yeah, having no food. I really miss Coke. <laughs> really, really missed KFC. And KFC. Love KFC. And you, that was and hilarious. The eviction show. You know you hang with that bucket. Into it. <laughs> Pepsi. Love it. Miss it. Okay, they're ready for the next round. Let's go back to Big Brother. This is Big Brother. Rihanna, Alice, and Rory. One of you is about to win a place back into tonight's games. On the buzzer, you will all enter the phone booth at the same time. In the phone booth, you will find three pairs of pants, three shirts, three ties, and three pairs of glasses. The first housemate to exit the phone booth dressed as Clark Kent and kiss Lois Lane will be back into tight's games. Do we need to Housemates, the pants must be done up. At least one button on your shirt must be buttoned. 
The tie must be over your head, and your glasses must be worn properly before you exit the phone booth. Housemates, if you play rough, you will be disqualified. Do not interfere with your opponent's clothing. Prepare to compete. Oh, this is fantastic. Straight out of a Superman movie. But there is no room in there at all. Oh, look, we're trying to make Rory and Rihanna closer. Oh, look. Oh, oh, Alice. Alice. And Rory is such a big, big guy. Look, he's pushing like, he would him take huge. up the majority of the room. But he's pushing him out of the way and giving himself more room than he needs. He's, he's putting victory money. before love. Not helping out poor Alice there. He's... Oh, Alice is getting a cut. Almost the old... <laughs> Of course, the housemates think that Alice is nominated this week, but they don't know because of Dixie's hand grenade. They'll find out on Sunday at 6.30. Alice is going to cry when she finds out she's not up. Really? Why? Because she's just been crying all week. <laughs> she's going to cry. She's going to be happy. <laughs> she needs something to cheer her up. Nice to see you win that one. Go out. <laughs> Good effort, that one. Nice work. Alice, congratulations. You are through to the next round. All housemates to the holding area. is your mate and she's been going through hell in the Big Brother house. We said at the start of the show we didn't think that she'd want to win tonight but it looks like she's actually going to put in an effort. That was a good tactic getting down low in that one. Al, was good she did well. Al wouldn't be able to help herself. She's always going to go for gold. Can I just say Even as well... if she didn't want to, she would do it. I'm glad she did because if Rory got through, that means the combi boys, all three of them, I Ben know. and Nobby and Rory, would have gone through to the next round. Maybe that's why the combi boys have been picking on Alice because she keeps winning Friday Night Live, she keeps Absolutely. being head of house, I... and they think that she's strategic. She's strategic. She gets on that treadmill for hours every day and she looks like she's thinking about something. Maybe she's thinking about winning Big Brother. And she's think? by far the most intelligent in the house. I, I don't know whether she thinks she's going to win, but she certainly wants to be in there for quite a long time. Who do you yeah. reckon's going to win, Dix? Um, I had my money on Nobby, but now I do not think Nobby's going to win. I actually think Terry might win. Terry! Terry! Terry. 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 Oh, yeah. A couple of people. Uh, maybe. I'm not so oh, sure. Yeah, don't true. go anywhere, because after the break, the games are going to go off like the Incredible Hulk at an anger management seminar. Go, superheroes! <laughs> You know, the world record, I believe, is about 136. So I reckon Whoa. you could have another crack at it and you might win. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. Please. Yesterday was World Environment Day. And what better way to save the world than with a couple of superheroes? How do I? We couldn't find any. Superman's on holiday and Batman wouldn't return our calls. So we did the next best thing. Dressed up the housemates and made to play some games. Speaking of games, it's time for... The most inappropriate place to I look like Predator. I can't believe that this game started with me playing peg face with some troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. I know, and now we've been getting quite a few photos being sent in, so if you do want to send in your photo... Awesome. Absolutely. And take a look at these ones. Uh, these are great. <laughs> Ballet class peg face. Oh, nice. Inappropriate <laughs> places like this is what we're talking about. Send them in. Pick Gymnastics. Up oh, no, oh, this no. is the surf club. The Board surf rescue. Club. Board right. rescue, yes. Grab one of the pegs to save your life. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. <laughs> Look at their legs don't, up the top. Don't drop it. She's got pegs on her bottom. Oh. Asleep. 
I sleep with Ted. Ted. His mum and dad actually. Yeah, his well. mum and dad did that so they get him the shower. Church. At church, yes. <laughs> Praise a lot of pegs. That was the winner, by the way, the uh, girl oh, in church. Oh, and that was a big brother the crew. Cameraman. That's all the cameramen here at Big Brother. Yeah, we're struggling for photos if we're using the cameraman, <laughs> Thanks, aren't we? guys. <laughs> and look at the guys in the crowd. You're a round of applause. That's unreal. Well done, guys. Oh, so, Pigs. We, need a, we need a few different places. Inappropriate places. Public transport. We haven't had any overseas ones yet, either. So Dubbo, what about, about, what about the Western the Plains Zoo? We should yeah. get a couple of pigs yeah. in there on the animals. But, but no! Not, oh, no, sorry. Not on the animals. Not on the animals. <laughs> Send your photos to fnl at bigbrother.com.au. And, and Bree, something we need to talk about now is the, the way that the housemates Absolutely. are chosen in what order. So everybody knows, with each game, the housemates actually pick balls out of a hat to determine... Who goes first and who goes second, like they're doing right now, as you yep. can see, in the games each night. So it's completely fair, but it's really boring. So we don't show you. It happens in the break, OK? And can I just say, Alice, with that ball there, she won the Powerball. She won $58 million. Yeah. Well done to Alice. So That's Bianca great. and Alice will, will play first in the games the world, tonight, as you can so see, because they got the ball. I warn you that this game... Is so funny that you may need one of these to stop you from weeing all over your armchair. Oh! Let's get down to the arena. What? <laughs> this is Big Brother. The next round is murder in the bark. Bianca, you are a lumberjack. Alice, you are the tree. When you hear the buzzer, the lumberjack will have one minute to chop the tree and yell timber. If successful, the lumberjack will go through to the final. If the tree remains unchopped for the whole one minute, they will go through to the final. Lumberjack, as you are blindfolded, success depends on how well you use your ears. You will carry a noisy chainsaw. The tree will wear squeaky shoes. Housemates, start moving on the buzzer. Every time. She did get her? Let's go to Big Brother. This is Big Brother. The lumberjack was successful. <laughs> Bianca, you are through to tonight's final. Alice, you are out. Nobby and Ben, you will compete next. All housemates to the holding area. Let's do a KFC Twister replay, see where Bianca got it. I, I thought she might have just swiped it and, and missed it, but let's just prove it right now with our KFC Twister replay. Coming right up. There it is. See, she got over the planet. See, Alice should have kept going around the globe yeah. there. If she went around the globe, she would have got away. Yeah, there we go. And there you go. There, that's the touch right there with the chainsaw. Yeah, so that means that she's through it. And then Bianca's through to the next round. Well done, Bianca! <laughs> Coming up, round two of Murder in the Bark. The housemates were asked to ignore the obvious this week. How do you reckon they did? Oh, fun. <laughs> housemates, your task this week is to ignore the obvious. Oi, man, what yeah. the... Oi, there's a... Oh. There's something funny. 
Nah, uh, nothing out of the normal. to see you. Richard, Richard, Richard. Do you think we've already failed the task? I'm Obi Wan Kenobi. What are you? Ben Skywalker. Ben Skywalker. Noise. <laughs> ben Welcome back to our Superhero Save the World edition of Friday Night Live. I'm Mike Goldman. That's Fitzy, that's Brie, and that's Dixie. Dixie. Hello. We love Dixie. Let's hear for Dixie. Yeah. Look at how little she is. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, so little. I, love... I feel like a giant. So, how are the housemates going so far in the games? Dixie. Um... I'm sorry, I love saying your name like this Dixie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's weird. Yeah, it is really? weird. I am weird. So Bianca oh. through to the final. Has that surprised you? Uh, yeah, but I don't think she's ever been to the final, has she? No, she's always been knocked out in the first or second round. So great effort by her. And now the last two that we've got is Nobby and Rory. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, no, Ben. ben. Nobby I'm, and ben. I'm back in Nobby to, to be in the final again. Nobby all the way. What will he do uh, when he wins this mystery prize? And what is the mystery prize for the first time tonight? Dixie, we have a mystery game for you right now. Are you ready for the most important event of your entire life? Yes, Let's I am. play. I smile and breathe, Oh, okay. I smile and breathe, Okay, basically, so. we're going to ask you I'm a series not confident of. confident tonight. We'll ask you a series of superhero questions. Okay. And what I want you to do is yell out for your buzzer. I want you to say, up and away. Test that. Up and away. But you've got to do the actions. Like, up and away. Up and away. And Bree, you've got to say kapow and punch. Kapow. Okay, test your buzzers. Kapow. Up and away. Test your buzzers together. Kapow. Up and away. Test your buzzers backwards. Pow, come. <laughs> <laughs> no, whoop. <laughs> whoop. Okay, okay. okay. first question. <laughs> you, you, we've just established that Dixie is smarter than Bree Amer already. <laughs> and that's the end of the competition. Congratulations, Dixie. <laughs> you're smarter than Bree Amer. <laughs> Okay. No, we'll do it properly. Okay. Okay. What newspaper does Clark Kent Capel. work at? Up and away. Oh, Brie. I don't know. Daily Planet. Yes, you're right. Woo. First one to Brie. Who is Superman's arch nemesis? Up and away. Dixie. Um, Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah Dixie. Dixie. One all. What is the name of Batman's Capel. real name? Up and away. What is Batman's real name? Uh, oh, Dixie. Uh, Bruce Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Dixie's getting it. Okay, two, one. What, was she? No, I don't think so. Okay, which character does Hugh Jackman play in X? Oh! Yeah. She's won it! I love it! Oh, wow. So, so, wait a sec. So, that means the score is. 3 1. 3 1. Dixie 3. I'm sorry, but Bree, but uh, Dixie, you are. You are smarter than Bree. Me. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you won every week? Yeah. You're the first... Oh, except for that little, like, 12-year-old smarty the first week. But just, that's not... No, you're the first housemate to just, beat me. Just out of curiosity, because we didn't get to the questions, because it's, you know, it's an environmental theme. There were some questions there, like, what date is World Environment Day? Yesterday. Uh, yes, yesterday. And what percentage, percent of household waste can be recycled? Uh, 90. Actually, 84%. Mm. And uh, yeah, there's, I've got lots of really boring questions yeah, like that, but I won't go into any more. Are we ready for the next game, the next round? I believe it's Ben and Nobby, murder in the bark. Let's get back to the arena. This is Big Brother. Nobby, you are a lumberjack. Ben, you are the tree. The lumberjack has one minute to chop the tree and yell timber. The winner will go through to the final. Housemates, 
Start moving on the buzzer. That was great. Nobby's grown a beard. Is that a beard this or is he eating a dog? His big brother, the lumberjack, was successful. Nobby, you are through to tonight's final. Ben, you are out. All housemates to the holding area. <laughs> that was the best game. Ben went so close. I can't believe it, how close he was to winning that. Edge of your seat entertainment right Ten here. Ten seconds it was down to. Ten seconds. And by the way, the ninjas did make sure that the, the eye mask was firmly fastened on Nobby's face so he couldn't look. Dixie, who's going to win in our final? Let's take a look. Actually, let's just take a look at the Twister replay just to confirm that Nobby did get his tree. There you go. And, oh, 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 look at that. It's so hard to run oh, in that oh, big oh. tree. Straight in the guts. Nobby. <laughs> OK, nice work. So who's going to win tonight? Because obviously um, the final is Nobby and Bianca. I'm going to say Nobby, but I really want Bianca to win. Nobby or Bianca, who do you want to win? Bianca! Oh. It is varying there. Thank you. Thank you. OK, we get the message. You only have to say it once. <laughs> so, Dixie, thank you so much for being on the show tonight. Thank and I am me. officially crowning you the Queen of Dubbo. Oh, what do you say? You. It's not up to me, but that's what I reckon. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. You have been a great housemate and an excellent uh, representation for the Aboriginal community and talking about a lot of things that, about the Aboriginal community in the house, like that they didn't invent cork cats. <laughs> That was great I to know. That's they also that. an excellent representative for KFC. <laughs> yeah, I think you should get a sponsorship deal there. Thank you so much to Dixie. Don't go anywhere because Bianca and Nobby are up next in the final, and it will be the biggest superhero scrap since Superman called Batman, Fat Man. Take it away, superheroes. <laughs> So you get so bored in there, you've got to make everything in the garden, everything in the house a game to make it interesting because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Especially well, when Nobby's only got the garden. Yeah, well, he, yeah, living in the combi. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. It's Superhero Saves the World Night. We're out to make the world a better place by planting trees, recycling and putting Terry and Terence in skin-tight lycra. Ah. <laughs> mm -mm. Our regular viewers have been sending in thousands of emails and letters, well, two of them, and our <laughs> second ep episode is what they've been Thanks, asking Mom. for, the second episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, and it's just one an award in America for the worst television series yeah, ever. Yeah, great news. Oh, it's great to hear. The bald and the beautiful. We've held up for long enough. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen.
Margo, darling, can you get me another cocktail, please? But, sweetheart, it's 10.30 in the morning. Oh, just one more. Uh, very well, let me just... Uh, put this away. Poor boy. What do they call you? You can call me Rocco. Time for a break, don't you think? <laughs> Three ships of this cocktail, and my darling wife Brianna will be dead, and the family fortune will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna! Could you lose it? That's it! I want a divorce! I'll see you in court! Cheers! My goodness! Someone poisoned me! <gasps> Somebody's poisoned him! Quick, help me get his wallet! <gasps> Credit cards. <laughs> Ooh, and I'll take the rest of that too, thanks. Brianna, do not drink it. It's poison. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Standing ovation. It doesn't happen very often on Friday Night Live. What if we'll see the return of that? I think it oh, might... Oh, we got a standing I, ovation. I, I have a feeling it might go straight to the web. That is gripping. I just How want to see the next acting episode. Skills, Fitzy, what are, my, my acting skills? What it's, are you talking about? It's I, don't, I don't know what you're talking Bianca about. Bianca and Nobby are the finalists tonight, <sighs> and not since Bianca's last shower have we seen such a dynamic duo. <laughs> I tell you what, I have to say, this mystery prize tonight. Because of the two people in the final and because of what happened in The Daily Show, I must say this, that the mystery prize has been the same for weeks. It Big has. Brother has planned this for a long You'll time. You'll be able so to tell that they wouldn't have been able to just snap that together no, overnight. It, it, it is the most unbelievable, and, it, and let me just say, it's a shocking prize. Hey, do you actually remember the first week Nobby won and he had all the prizes taken off him because he'd snuck into the house? Lucky he didn't break the rules this Can week I, or it might have happened again. Is this true as well? I don't know. I'm trying to remember back because Nobby's been against Alice big time. Didn't Alice win it and take Nobby into the strategy room? Yes, he yeah. did. That's so right. Alice actually looked after Nobby and he's gave him he's pizza, turned. got him in the house, you know and what? now he's turned on it. But do you know what that says to me, Pitsy? It says that it's all about strategy in the house between those two. And, and maybe Nobby realises she wants to win. Alice. Alice isn't strategy. You don't reckon? No. No. It's, I don't it's know, Nobby's man. the one that I, wants to win. I think she does think about winning the game. And, no, and she has won Friday Night Live before. You she's know? the most competitive in Friday Night Live and she's the most intelligent, so he's probably threatened by her strategically and he's well, turned into a nasty pants. We're talking about Nobby and Bianca in the finals. Get ripped! Up front and live to the arena. Game on. This is Big Brother, Bianca and Nobby. Tonight's final round is the Ozone Slayer. Your mission as superheroes is to save the Earth from impending doom. On the buzzer, you must save the world from a meteor shower. The meteors will fly at you from all directions. Bianca, you have a red shield. Your job is to keep the blue meteors away. Nobby, you have a blue shield. Your job is to keep the red meteors away. After one and a half minutes, the superhero with the most <laughs> meteors of the same colour of their shield in the ozone layer will be the winner of the Friday Night Games. Finalists, watch out for the space balls. You must remain on the Earth at all times. Once a meteor hits the floor, do not pick it up or kick it out of play. Finalists, the Earth is depending on you. Prepare to compete. pressure on, Big Brother. The Earth's depending on you. OK, so the aim of the game is, at the end of it, you want the most amount of your coloured meteors 
in the earth. So if there's a heap of red, the anchor wins. If there's a heap of knobby, a heap of blue, knobby wins. So, and the silver things there are just meteors that the ninjas are just throwing at them to put them off. It's fairly even at the moment, I'd say. What are you doing, Bianca? It's the Friday Night Live final. Superhero night, saving the world. Nobby versus Bianca. Who will win? The silver ones mean nothing to the record. They're just... The silver ones are special Swiss ball meteor, meteors made out of Swiss balls that have come from the planet Swiss ball. Look, a Bianca's shield cover has fallen off. We're going to fire an injury over that. <laughs> it looks very close. Is there more blues on there or is there more reds? I don't know. It looks pretty close, this, for the last game. 30 seconds remaining. There's a lot of red ones in there. Uh, I don't know, I think they're all blue. I think they just blend in. The blue ones are hard to see because of the planet colour. Oh, no, no, doing, doing very well. Things. Bianca's a little bit off balance there. Oh, Bianca, what are you doing? Ten seconds remaining. I'll just pick Eight, a couple up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You know what? It looks close, but I have a feeling that Nobby might have just scraped in. Oh, yeah. Easy. Let's go into the count. <laughs> we need as many ninjas as possible to count the meteorites. I'll have to shove them in their separate corners. So if there's a hell of a lot of blue meteorites... Nobby wins. Nobby wins. A lot of red ones. Bianca wins. Who will get it? There's so many more blue ones than red. Who will win the massive power from Friday Night Live? I think Capsicum's won it. Dude, you've been watching too much Peter Everett on Ready Steady Cook. Or is it tomatoes? <laughs> Ready, steady. Ninja. Count. Hold up the colour of the most meteors in the ozone layer. Who is the winner? Blue. Blue! There you have it. Nobby has got it. Nobby, congratulations. You are a true global crusader and you are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Losing housemates, celebrate your champion. Big Yes. Oh, it's a very controversial win here tonight. First time in history. First time in the history of Friday Night Live, a winner has been booed by our studio audience. It's pretty full on. show it was so full on and I've, I've never seen an audience do this before on Friday Night Live. Nobby is the winner on Friday Night Live tonight. He gets all the power in the house which we'll see him in there for another couple of weeks and he gets say, the mystery prize. By the sounds of it he's going to need that eviction twist on Sunday. Let's take a look at him and his winning streak throughout the house and throughout Friday Night Live tonight. This is how he went. The KFC Twister replay. There he was. Looking like he was dead. This is probably not one of his best efforts in that game. There he is. He is with the chainsaw. He just got there in the end. It was very close, that one, and, and getting to the final round and beating Bianca. by well, Only just a few meteorites, so it was a, a fantastic effort there from Bianca. Let's hear it for Bianca. She did well to get to the end. Don't forget, the voting has changed. Here on Big Brother this year, vote to evict is back. You boot the one you want out. Vote for them if you want to see them leave. Here come the numbers. Yes, it's all changed. Australia, you now vote to evict. Vote for the person you like the least. And on Sunday, the most unpopular housemate will be booted from the house. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 5555. And then for Renee at 63, for Terry at 67, for Bianca at 64, for Bridget at 61. Or text their name to 191010. 
Remember, you now vote to evict. Get phoning, Australia. Your votes will decide who leaves this Sunday. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 8th of June. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Tonight's games. <laughs> Let's go live to the house. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Nobby, you may enter the house. Go immediately to the diary room. Yeah, Nobby. Nobby, can you tell me, brother, that the mic in the Friday night game uh. Nobby. Big brother. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel? Uh, no, it's really good, actually. Very happy since I came runner-up last week. As the winner this week... Yep of the Friday Night Games. Yep. You are now head of the Big Brother household. Yay. I can't do anything, though, inside. You may have to run the household from the outside. All right. Next to you is an armband. Yep. Put it on now. Yep. Nobby. Big Brother. You have also won the power to change evictions. Okay. You will find out more about this part of your prize on Sunday night. Yep. Nobby. Yep. Big Brother also promised you a mystery prize. Cool. To your left are four tickets and business class travel packs. Yep. To fly on Big Brother Airlines mm -hmm. to a mystery location. Yep. Nobby, the flight departs tonight. Yep. As the winner of the Friday Night Games, mm -hmm. you may choose three housemates to accompany you. Yep. Nobby, which three housemates will be flying out of the house with you tonight? Ben, Rory, and Bianca. Why? Um, ben, um, Rory, oh, first I'll start with Rory because I feel as though he's the, um, the closest guy to my house, uh, in the house and I trust him the most. Um, pretty much the closest bloke or close, closest housemate to me. Um, ben, he's very close to me as well and um, I... I thought, you know, he's been, he was in the same team for me throughout the, um, throughout the games, and so I think he should be allowed in as well. And the third one was going to be either Renee or Bianca, but I just, um, Renee I'm um, close to as a housemate, but Bianca, she's already been there before, and I think Bianca deserves one because she became, she came um, runner-up, and that she could possibly be leaving this Sunday. Nobby. Big brother. Collect the tickets and travel packs. Go to the lounge. Yep. Inform the housemates you have chosen of your decision and hand them each their ticket and travel pack immediately. Okay. Can I explain why I chose them as well? Of course. Okay. Thank you, Nobby. Thank you. And also, Terry, forgot her, Terry forgot her microphone in the Fahrenheit Arena. Thank you. Thank you. That is all. Oh. Nobby, do not take the silver box. Only take the travel packs Sorry. and tickets. Oh. Oh. Um. I 
I get to choose three housemates to come to Bali with me. I'm oh. going to choose Ben and Rory and Bianca. Ooh. I was going to choose Renee because I, but um, because she is the closest female housemate to me, but um, she's already been there before. And um, Bianca's about to leave this Sunday and she made it to the final. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bianca, Bianca could leave yeah. this Sunday, she was sorry. And um, she made it to the final with me, so I think she deserves to go. Thank you. Know, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Thank you. Your travel packs. Oh, I You've been to Bali twice in my year, man. How good is that? Yeah, I told him. I told him. Thank you, Nobby. And you wanted to go to Bali. No, is it? Hang on, this is Big Brother. I don't want to see. Travelers, pack your bags. Your flight departs shortly. That is all. Here, tickets to Yes, your flight departs shortly, but let's say if you enjoy a trashy holiday, they're going to love it. It's not what you expect. I am so excited about 6.30 Sunday Bali. night. They're expecting Bali. They're not going to get Bali. Well, unless you think Bali's a trashy holiday, which I do. Can I just say, I think this is, a good, I think this is a good thing too now because Ben, Rory, Nobby are out of the house. Everyone can relax now. Guys like Travis, Alice, they can relax and they don't have to worry about people bitching behind their backs. I reckon this is Absolutely. a good thing for the I, house. I can't believe you didn't pick Travis to try and make or, amends. Or Alice, it's ridiculous. Well, make sure that you watch Sunday night at 6 30 the daily show is going to be an absolute ripper and we are going to lose one of those fantastic housemates it's the biggest eviction of the year terry renee bridget and bianca it's going to be absolutely massive do you want to avo do you want to voice your opinion on big brother all you got to do is upload your video to the three mobile mouthpiece section of the big brother website if your clip is aired on monday night's big mouth you score this awesome three mobile broadband dongle fitzy oh it's very nice modeled by ryan fitzgerald plug it into your laptop for internet on the go thanks to three Thanks to our superhero dancers. Thank you to Dixie. Thank you to Bitsy. Thank you to Bree. Next week it's Friday the 13th. If you don't watch, you could be very unlucky. I'm Mike Goldman. You've been Goldman. Take it away, superheroes. Good night. Program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.